Good morning friends, uh, this is Naga S. I am working as assistant professor in the department of electronics and communication engineering. In this video, I am going to explain embedded system. The main objective of this video is includes the embedded system, examples of embedded system, general computing system versus embedded system. Embedded system, an embedded system is an electronic electromechanical system designed to perform a specific function and a combination of both hardware and firmware. So it is mainly includes the hardware and firmware to perform the specific functions. It performs only the specific task. That is the reason it is called as an embedded system to perform the specific operation. It is an electronic or electromechanical system designed to perform a specific function and a combination of both hardware and firmware. Firmware is nothing but the software. Every embedded system is unique, nothing but. So it performs a specific function. That is the reason the embedded system is called as unique system. And the hardware as well as the firmware is highly specialized. So the main embedded system is depends on the hardware parts as well as the firmware. That is the reason is highly specialized to the application domain. So what user is decided to perform the operation that is application with respect to that the firmware as well as hardware is specialized. The embedded systems are becoming an inevitable part of any product or equipment in all fields because we are using the embedded device in almost all the fields uh, examples household appliances, telecommunications, medical equipments, industrial control consumer products in almost all the fields we are using the embedded device that is the reason it is called as inevitable part of any product or equipment in all the fields then embedded system is a combination of three things along with the hardware and uh, software we have one more part in this that is mechanical component the mechanical component is also important to build the embedded devices then examples, if you consider one example that is washing machine. So in this washing machine we have mainly three in, uh, parts will be included that is uh, hardware part will be available, the software programming that will be implemented in the chip, then we have the mechanical components. So these three things will develop one system that is the reason it is called as embedded system in that hardware part uh, buttons, display and buzzer, the electronic circuit these are the main three things will be the hardware parts will be available in the washing machine. Then the software, it has a chip on the circuit that holds the software which drives the controls and monitors various operations possible. So to operate this washing machines, we have the control circuitry, that control circuitry operation level and uh, to monitor level, all these things will be implemented in the program. That program will be uh, dumped onto the IC that is chip on the circuit then mechanical components so here in this uh, washing machines the internals of the washing machine which actually wash the cloths control the input and output of water so these three things that is controls the input and output of water that will be done by the mechanical components if you consider another example air conditioner see in this we have uh, heat absorption uh, unit, compressor, then uh, condenser coil, then expansion valve. So these are the different units that will be included in a single system. So it is called as embedded system. In this, the hardware levels, remote display and buzzer, the infrared sensors, electronic circuitry. So these are the things hardware parts will be available in the air conditioner. Then software again chip on the circuit that is to control as well as to monitor the control and monitor the various parts available in this uh, air conditioner that will be done by the programming circuitry. Then mechanical components the internals of an air conditioner the motor the outlet these are all belongs to the mechanical components. Then we will move on to the next topic that is embedded system versus general computing systems. 
if you observe the first difference that is content what is the main content is available between the general purpose computing system and embedded system a system which is a combination of generic hardware and generic purpose operating system for executing a variety of applications nothing but generic hardware and general purpose operating system will be included in the general purpose computing system but in case of embedded system it is mainly of hardware and the software hardware and software of embedded os embedded os for executing a variety of applications these two things will be included in the embedded system then operating system the operating system in case of general purpose computing system is required it contains a general purpose operating system gpos but in case of embedded system it may or may not be contain an operating system for the functioning third difference alterations so alterations is possible in case of uh, uh, general purpose computing system the applications are alterable nothing but programmable if the user wants to perform some other operations so they can modify in case of general purpose computing system but in case of embedded system it will be fixed the firmware of the embedded system is pre programmed and it is non alterable by the end user the key factor the performance is the key deciding factor in the selection of the system the performance level is the very very important uh, part bar for the consideration of key factor in case of general purpose computing system but in case of embedded system the application specific requirements like the performance power requirements the memory usage these are the main key factor will be considered uh, for the performance level of the embedded system then power consumption will be more in case of uh, general purpose computing system the power consumption is very less in case of embedded system then response time it is not critical and the response time for the embedded system is critical for some applications these are the some uh, examples where we can use the embedded devices in almost all the fields we are using the embedded systems so like anti lock brakes auto focus cameras battery chargers camcorders cell phones cordless phones electronic toys games factory control fax machines fingerprint identifiers vcrs dvd players see you can see the different examples so in almost all the fields we are using this embedded devices Thank you for watching this video. If you like, please share and subscribe.